The Nunc Dimittis, also Song of Simeon or Canticle of Simeon is a canticle from the opening words from the Vulgate translation of the New Testament in the second chapter of Luke named after its insipid in Latin, meaning, Now you dismiss. Luke chapter 2 verses 29 to 32. Since the 4th century it has been used in such evening worship services as Compline, Vespers, and Evensong. Topic. Biblical account Topic. According to the narrative in Luke chapter 2 verses 25-32, Simeon was a devout Jew who had been promised by the Holy Spirit that he would not die until he had seen the Messiah. When Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem for the ceremony of consecration of the firstborn son not of circumcision, but rather after the time of Mary's purification, at least forty days after the birth, Simeon was there, and he took Jesus into his arms and uttered words rendered variously as follows. Topic. Versions Topic. Latin Vulgate. English Book of Common Prayer, 1662 The King James Version 1611 contains the same text as the Book of Common Prayer, except for the last line Luke chapter 2 verse 32, which simply reads, A light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. The first written variant of the Nunc Dimittis was in Koine Greek Church Slavonic in Slavonic Topic. Liturgy and musical settings Topic. The Nunc Dimittis is the traditional gospel canticle of night prayer Compline, just as Benedictus and Magnificat are the traditional gospel canticles of morning prayer and evening prayer respectively. Hence the Nunc Dimittis is found in the liturgical night office of many Western denominations, including Evening Prayer or Evensong in the Anglican Book of Common Prayer of 1662, Compline a late evening service in the Anglican Book of Common Prayer of 1928, and the night prayer service in the Anglican Common Worship, as well as both the Roman Catholic and Lutheran service of Compline. In Eastern tradition the canticle is found in Eastern Orthodox Vespers. One of the most well-known settings in England is a plain chant theme of Thomas Tallis. The feast day, Mary I. Reiniging, was observed in the Lutheran Church at J.S. Bach's time. He composed several cantatas for the occasion, including M.I.T. Freud und Freud ich Fardeien, B.W.V. 125, a chorale cantata on Martin Luther's paraphrase of the canticle, and Ich habe genug, B.W.V. 82. In many Lutheran orders of service the Nunc Dimittis may be sung following the reception of the Eucharist. Many composers have set the text to music, usually coupled in the Anglican Church with the Magnificat, as both the Magnificat and the Nunc Dimittis are sung or said during the Anglican service of evening prayer according to the Book of Common Prayer, 1662, in which the older offices of Vespers evening prayer and Compline night prayer were deliberately merged into one service, with both gospel canticles employed. In common worship, it is listed among canticles for use at funeral and memorial services. Herbert Howells composed 20 settings of it, including Magnificat and Nunc Dimittis, Gloucester, 1947, and Magnificat and Nunc Dimittis for St. Paul's Cathedral, 1951. A setting of the Nunc Dimittis by Charles Villiers Stanford was sung at the funeral of Margaret Thatcher as the recessional. Stanford wrote many settings of both the Magnificat and Nunc Dimittis. Arvo Part composed a setting of the Nunc Dimittis in 2001. Sergei Rachmaninoff wrote a setting of the Slavonic Nunc Dimittis text, Nine Otpusizi Nyne Otpushchayushi, as the fifth movement of his all-night vigil. It is known for its final measures, in which the basses sing a descending scale ending on the B-flat below the bass clef. Topic. Literary settings Topic. Thomas Jefferson, Letter to Marquis de Lafayette, the 17th of May 1816; Joseph Cabell, the 31st of January 1821; and General Andrew Jackson, the 18th of December 1823. T. H. White novel, The Once and Future King, recitation by Merlin. T. S. Eliot poem, A Song for Simeon, 1928. Joseph Brodsky poem, Nunc Dimittis, 1972. Ezra Pound poem, Cantico del Sol, 1918. Carol Capic play R U R. 
Roald Dahl short story, Nunc Dimittis, 1953–1979 Tanith Lee story, Nunc Dimittis, 1984–1986 Walter Miller, A Canticle for Leibowitz John Le Carre novel A Murder of Quality John Le Carre novel Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, closing theme of TV adaptation John Le Carre novel The Constant Gardener, sung at the funeral of Tessa Quayle H. W. Brand's novel The Strange Death of American Liberalism David Mitchell novel Cloud Atlas, Pacific Journal of Adam Ewing, Part 1 Edith Pargeter novel, writing as Ellis Peters in the 6th and 15th volumes of The Codfile Chronicles, The Virgin in the Ice and the Confession of Brother Halluin See also Topic. Our Lady of Sorrows Section 7 Sorrows of Mary Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. List of available settings at Coral Public Domain Library